Hello everyone and welcome back to Cup Quest once again. Basically, I just finished to edit a new film and uh, before we get into this new adventure, let me show you a little bit of what happened during the really, really cold winter months. <laughs> Traveling across Croatia, I decided to take a visit on a lake that in the past years amazed me, with such incredible view and of course great fishes. But soon after just 24 hours only, I discovered that the lake is victim of a drain and fishes in the past months has been moved to a safer water. No need to say how much useless it is to stay here. So I load the van once again and drive to the seaside, on another lake that often rewarded us with such amazing catches, the Lake Tribali. Just the time to set the rods out and suddenly a strong wind over 65 km per hour literally blow away and destroy my beavis and other tackle. flows and in the blink of an eye we are immersed into the white snow. Trying our luck on a big and deep gravel pit in the east of Slovenia. It's really cold in the night when I finally get a carp after a long time. after it's drastically colder, all frozen around us, and also all the other lakes across the country. It means only one thing, game over. Finally, the summer comes again. Here we go, the first fish of a new chapter of Carp Quest, so let the adventure begin. And here we are, so it's finally summertime. After a very long and cold and rigid winter months, we are facing this lovely sunny and higher temperature. It's summer, as we said, 
and for this Carp Quest episode we wanted to make something a little bit different. Basically, it's more approaching our nomadic style. We are around Zagreb in Croatia at the moment and uh, basically we've been driving and seeing many gravel pits from big size to smaller ones. In the big ones that we've been in the past day, it was very, very busy of people swimming and so on. It was, of course, very peaceful and beautiful if you are swimming there, but for fishing, it was a little bit too much disturbing. So just keep going from a couple of kilometers more. We have just faced this uh, small gravel pit, which uh, it was quiet and silent. And mostly when I arrived on the place, I immediately seen some carp cruising on the surface and I've noticed a very interesting small plateau at the middle of this one. So in just a few minutes I take the rods out, I started put some bait by his bombing and I put my rods out. After basically a couple of hours we already had some nice section of fish coming and biting and uh, this was pretty much fun. So now the plan is just to spend about 20, 24 hours here on this water and then move on the next one. But for the moment, let's continue with uh, casting the rods out and we never know what fish can come visit us. I know that basically there's a good stock of carp here, not really big sizes, but it doesn't really matter. What really matters is just to have fun and catch some good carp. surprise he was taking really so much line towards my direction and here on the bay the little bay on the right side totally makes me confusing
Wow, hooked perfectly. And finally, mostly, we have an in increase of the size of fish. It's a very beautiful mint condition, mirror cup, perfect mouth, perfect body, big belly, amazing, powerful fins. Okay. Fifteen kilo exactly, less about a kilo of the sling, so it's about yeah, 14 kilo of beautiful mirror cup. Well, I'm very satisfied. Beautiful, very beautiful, beautiful fish. That now it's time is. Whoa, whoa. don't know what to expect. The first half of the fight was making me think that it was like a normal size fish, seven kilo maybe, something like that. And now the fish, again, under the drop in front of me, he's really, really fighting like a bull. With a really strong, powerful attempt to escape on the drop I wasn't yet able to to see the shape the colors the silhouette of the fish still never came to the top for a quick look not yet Here we go. The bait is still perfect. No reason to change it. And let's cast out again.
Useful we have a problem. Hectic time. Hectic time. Just when I was trying to leave the other fish, this one also had a run. It's the second time today that we also have a double run. <laughs> Incredible. But yeah, it's not totally unexpected because fishing a small place and fishing with three rods basically almost on the same spot, very close to each other. Once the a school of fish is coming, one, two or three, they're gonna bite. I'm happy because at least also the fish size is growing basically. We had this low start with uh, five to seven kilos carp within today and then this mirror that uh, I just caught before is about uh, 10 kilo plus easy and probably also this one I'm fighting now it can be a nicer fish interesting but in any case I have to say that uh, wow they fight very well it's uh, it's crazy how they point the bottom just underneath my feet here because it's very steep at few meters from the shore and they swim totally powerful pointing the depth okay fish is here not the biggest but yeah it's still some action going on another mirror chunk Nice. Ooh, perfect. Evening time, just before to get some food, probably, and uh, we got some action going on. Cool. Okay, let's take a, a quick look now at the fish that I catch before. I quickly managed to put it in the retain sling so that we, we can at least see it properly. It's always important to keep some spare uh, retaining sling, always open it at least one into the, the mattress so that uh, eventually in, uh, when something like this is going on, you can just quickly put the fish safe back into the water. So also it's, uh, the fish can take some benefits of this, so at least he can reoxygenate and uh, take a breath, let's say, after the fight and get some rest. But mostly also to take some powers back. <laughs> it's a beautiful fish, I have to say. Very nice. Okay, no, not yet. <laughs> Come on, just one minute, please. <laughs> Beautiful chunk, beautiful mirror chunk, yeah. It's getting darker, basically, so in any case, I'm going to recast the rods out and also baiting up with some more fresh bait. So basically it's uh, the first day of fishing and already we had quite a lot of action to be honest and uh, also the weather changement and so on i see the thunder just not far from here so it means that it will be some rain probably for uh, for tonight uh, for this reason i believe that it's good to change some a little bit of tactics what i mean is just that since i started fishing i've been using quite small uh, hook baits uh, hating the bottom baits and uh, 12 to 15 millimeter uh, pop-up so basically always on a snowman so at least for one rod i think it's best to just do something much bigger just to, so that eventually we can increase probably the size of the fishes so i'm going to change at all basically my rig presentation i was using a snowman till now and for this one i'm going to put a double 
bottom bait, just to be totally on the bottom. Just to refresh the, the, the area and then we just wait for, uh, for the night, for the upcoming storm, then maybe can bring some big ones. while the clouds is, is getting really, really dark. The storm is coming. I just saw the forecast on the internet and oof, it's going to be bad. They say that it's going to be very bad storm. But till it's not raining and we are catching, it's fun. This one was just biking on the <laughs> on the double bottom bait, wishing that it was bringing some bigger internal size, but no, it's still this size. But it's okay. Till is a good fighter, fishes is a good fun. While Apocalypse is showing up behind me, we just show another beautiful fish landed. Beautiful. Nice chunky mirror. In very good shape, I will say. Nice fatty belly. Beautiful fish that will grow, definitely. Speaking, something bad is going on. <laughs> some storm coming but nothing like this so it's very very dangerous so quickly we managed to take out the umbrella the essential gears from from the the camp here and just put back into the van and just wait for this to finish it's best to stay safe into the van for the moment because it's very very dangerous a lot of lightnings are falling and uh, it's uh, too risky in my opinion so better to save my skin and stay inside Very big thunderstorm last night. A lot of strong wind and rain and hailstorm during the night. So basically decided to change idea basically. Decided to back direction home. But before we go home, I just want to stop by on a local river. It's a special place, it's a special water. A river that I never fished before for carp. But I know, I'm very aware that there are good stock of, of carp in there. Not really huge ones, I don't really care of those, but it's very nice and wild fish. 
we, we can have a, a chance to catch eventually some uh, koi carp which swims in there but mostly yeah the environment of uh, this urban place in this city is very it's very beautiful so we, we're going to spend the next 24 hours in this place and uh, let's see what happens Here we go, another day, another venue. Basically what happened from yesterday that we were fishing on a small gravel pit, it was a very good fun, but then we suddenly we have been assaulted by a big heavy storm with lightnings and some, so we decided to stop fishing there and just take a, a rest and nap into the van. Then just in the morning we decided to leave and come back in Slovenia basically where I decided to go fishing on a local river that actually I never fished before I always reserved this place to fish for a pike in winter and so on but uh, I always kept that in the shelf the dream to come fishing here this this river actually it holds a very good stock of fish with some kois and also nice mirror and uh, common carp not huge fishes but really pristine and very good wild fishes so for this reason basically we just decided to do this uh, urban style fishing where we have the just the van right on, on my back and uh, here the fishing is really really uh, essential you don't need to fish with a lot of uh, equipment you only need a short rod because the 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 real the stretch river is very short not not wide so basically just a, a short cast 20 25 meters maximum as normally i use a snowman presentation here i prefer and i think it's more uh, it's the best actually to use just bottom bait so for this reason i decide to fish with the uh, uh, bigger diameters of baits bottom baits like a 24 millimeter and on this one a double dumbbell of uh, uh, 20 millimeters each so basically this will be just sink on the bottom as the bottom here it's a uh, silt and mud and i prefer for this reason that uh, all i drop into the water it's just sinking into this mud because i know that carp are totally feeding putting their mouth inside the this mud so yeah i prefer also this because in a river like this i believe that carp are more suspicious whenever they see some pop-up fluo or something like that this is my theory my idea i know that probably other anglers can decide to to fish differently and they keep on catching but i trust in these uh, options uh, being minimal here i think is the the key of the success to get some fish landed and uh, for this reason also i decided that just as i said before not being abundant in uh, baiting and just a couple of spoonful of bait on the spot and the rig presentation accompanied with just a little string of pva bag with uh, just six seven eight uh boily together then all this just drench it deeper on a liquid and then we go
Okay, so the sun is up, it's midday. We're starting this 24 hours and uh, I really hope that within the evening we can be able to land a fish. Fingers crossed, let's start. Here we go with the first run on this new venue for me actually. So nice, so so nice to have after just three hours since I started this session and I had a lovely run right now in the middle of the day. I can see I think is a common carp and so so much pleasure fighting with these super light rods no need heavy gear sometimes just 10 foot rod and keep on rolling wow Very powerful, energetic, really, really strong fish. Even if the size is not that big, but it's pulling really, really lovely. I thought that the fish was giving up basically and coming to me but then instead whoa he started pulling in the deep again let's try it now oh, not yet Remember that we have to fish and to pull gently, not forcing too much. Oh. Really, really strong fish.
Yes, it's in. Wow. Really, really wow. I'm so happy for this first fish. It really means a lot. Beautiful. Great, great fighter. Oh, lot of fun and adrenaline for this fight. Yes. It's really, really hot, so it's best to keep the fish wet to, to not take any damage. water is literally oh, super hot so the river is shallow water and the carp are showing some sign of pre-spawning as I can see from the little little dots I see on the, the head and all over the scales of the fish so I believe that probably this fish soon it will, it will swim upstream to lay down and uh, just to start spawning beautiful beautiful fish dark tones typical from this clear water of this river and thank you a lot for this beautiful fight now just a quick snap before we release it and we cast the rods out again amazing wow <laughs> Job done. First one. Finger crosser now to catch one more, maybe. And the winner rig was the very tiny small spinner rig with the hook size six with a single bottom bait of 25 millimeters. It was very nice, very perfect, perfectly hooked the fish. And now let's put again the same bait, uh, only one bottom bait of a bigger diameters. Sometimes it can be probably wrong for some anglers out there to use a bigger single boilers in general, some bigger bait using on a small tiny uh, hook, like in this case. But personally, I'm very confident in this uh, combo as basically the, the bait uh, is uh, approximately one centimeter uh, detached from the, from the hook and this somehow it guarantees me, I, basically I trust in this combination, I'm not uh, scared, I don't fear that the, the bait is too big and that somehow it can cover the, um, the action of the hook, so I'm totally easy and uh, trust this combination and uh, the results just speech himself, so keep going.
Oh, nice. Second run, another fish. I was just talking with some friends who came visit me, and wow, lovely run. No, oh, come Oh, no, okay, okay. I thought for a moment I lost it, but no, she's still here. Another common. It looks a little bit smaller, but wow, what a drill. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely action in the day. Smaller common. Again, showing power when they are just near the landing net. Watch out. Nah, it is. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow, beautiful. Very, very nice. <laughs> Nice fish, totally wild fish, beautiful. Just a quick snap to keep the memory of this fish and just let it go. Thank you for the drill. <laughs>
let's put back this giant and uh, just put some fresh bait on the rig and cast out again. morning and it has been a very quiet night to be fair. I was expecting mostly in the night to have some action, more runs and probably the chance to increase the size of the fishes but then instead nothing at all. We slept and also in the first hours of the morning the temperature definitely went down. It's much cooler than yesterday. Yesterday was about 34 degrees, 35 in the day so it was very hot day. But today the forecast says it will be cooler, mostly it's windy with fresh air and uh, yeah, I don't know, why not? Maybe this can, uh, can change the situation, in worse or in better, I still don't know. Well, okay, our 24 hours on the river are finished. Basically, we had our time and our chances to catch carp. We've been able to land two fishes, two nice wild common carp, and uh, I think it's a good achievement after all. Now I see that uh, actually in the last hours, today there was no bite, and actually there was no sign and no sight of the carp cruising around the river. Just walking here on the bridge, I've been able to see here there's a few carp actually, also good size, bigger than what I caught yesterday, but uh, they were totally lazy and totally no biting at all. So it means that also, yeah, it's very hot today. So yeah, I think that for today is pretty much done, but we have good reasons to come back as soon as possible to try to catch some of these amazing fishes. Now let's close it here and stay tuned for the next adventure. See you.